From a boat, a beacon 80 metres high is sighted at an angle of elevation of 5 degrees. The boat sails towards the beacon, and 30 minutes later, the beacon is now at an angle of elevation of 60 degrees. Calculate the distance the boat sailed between the two sightings. Read that again carefully. From a boat, a beacon 80 metres high is sighted at an angle of elevation of 5 degrees. We sail towards the beacon, and so now it's got a bigger angle, it's now 60 degrees. Let me draw a diagram. Here's my beacon. When I start, over here, it's 5 degrees. I hope you'll excuse the fact that I'm not using my ruler. Um, when I get closer, it's now at 60 degrees. These angles are angles of elevation. Angle of elevation. An angle of elevation, or an angle of depression, is always measured from horizontal. It's always the angle up for elevation or down for depression. Always compared to horizontal. It's always this angle, never this angle. Okay, the beacon is 80 metres high. And I've got my boat down here. Okay, calculate the distance the boat sailed between the two sightings. So I need that distance. Okay, how am I going to get to there? Well, this is a right angle. So I can solve this triangle pretty easily and work out this length here. But then, can you see there's the little triangle there, and then there's the big triangle out here. So if I solve the big triangle, I'll get the whole length there. And I'll have the small length already, and so I just subtract that from that to get the length I want to know. Let's give these some names. Let's call that A. We'll call the whole length B, and the distance I want to find D. Okay? Let's try it. Let me move that so you can still see it. Alright. So, for A, I have a triangle. That's A, that's 60 degrees, and that's 80 metres. Oh, this looks just like the second problem we had. Okay. Opposite side, this is a right angle, sorry. Opposite side, adjacent side. I'm using tan. Tan of my angle is opposite on adjacent. Tan of 60 degrees is opposite 80 on adjacent A. Cross multiply. A is 80 on tan 60. And in my calculator. Forty-six point. Oh, what accuracy do I need? It's a boat. Centimeters is more than I need. So, forty-six point one nine meters. All right. Let's try B. B is a larger triangle, but we're going to solve it the same way. This is 5 degrees, still 80 metres, and I need B. It's going to be tan again. Right angle, sorry. Opposite, adjacent. Tan of my angle is opposite on adjacent. Tan, 6, no, 5 degrees, looking at the wrong diagram. Tan of 5 degrees now is going to be 80 on B, the adjacent. So cross multiply, B is 80 
on 10, 5 degrees. Okay, calculator, 80 on 10, 5. B is 914.40 metres. Whew, that was a lot. Have I finished? Oh, no, no I haven't. I have to find the distance the boat sailed. Back to this diagram, I have to find this distance D. Well, this distance D is just B minus A. Okay? So, distance, can you still see that? Yes. Distance sailed is B minus A, which is 914.40 minus 46.19. It's 868.22 metres. Now you might wonder why how I got 22 when this is in fact I typed a bit more than 19 into my calculator. I typed one, I typed some of the digits from previously. Now, if you want to make sure that you get like you would instead get what 21 instead of 22. Again, you're a boat sailing on the ocean. I think that's probably close enough. Alright? There's your third problem.